back in the car again. Yes, that means another shop with me. Just leaving Hobby Lobby where I found a whole bunch of learning things, classroom decor, things for teachers. So we're gonna do a little shop with me today and show you what I found. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, Hobby Lobby. Let's go right now. Lots of classroom things, things for teachers, things for homeschoolers, and things for learning in today's shop with me. Starting off with these little ink stampers. They're self-inking and they have all of the graded phrases on it so you can stamp. It's a full set and it is just $12.99 for all eight stamps. I really like this. I think that is really cute. That would make a good teacher gift too. We're seeing these organizers everywhere, aren't we? And we're seeing them again here at Hobby Lobby. These are not your classic colors like we've seen elsewhere and they are three $3.99. They look to be really good quality. thought this was so clever. It is a no name clipboard. So you clip the no name projects on there. Very clever. Lots of signage at Hobby Lobby, which I kind of expected to see. I'm going to show you more towards the end of the video. We have some name tag stickers. This is $2 for the package. And here is a portfolio with a legal pad inside and a really fun cover. Love this. Thought that was super cute. It's actually very summery. And then they have had a lot of different planners. Now I've shown you planners, the Erin Condren ones and the Happy Planners over at Walmart and at Target, but here they have a little bit different selection and they are all themed. Now these themes also match a lot of the supplies and the classroom decorations I'm going to show you in this video. So if you wanted to match, you could certainly do that, but they did have some really fun planners and teacher grading books. This one is actually divided. It has the little dividers inside to keep you organized. If you're in the need for one of these planners, check Hobby Lobby before you decide which one you're going to go with because these are really, really nice. Also really cool are these desk pads. So these go right onto your desks and they have the full calendars on them. It's for the academic school year and it starts in July. And then they had them in a couple of different styles. Once again, if you wanted to coordinate, thought they were really cool. Here's a couple more of these teaching planners. This is one of the styles that had the spiral bound and the tabs on the side couple of stickers. We have birthday stickers and star student stickers, and we have some simply tacky mounting tape. Rolls of stickers too, which is kind of convenient to have. These came in a couple of different themes. So if you wanted something that was more general, if you wanted something that was more birthday, if you wanted something that was in a certain pattern, you could find that here. There are a ton of banners. Here's just one with the light bulbs, and we have some cutouts in the B styles and cutouts in the cactus. Birthday stickers and regular stickers, star stickers, smiley face stickers. These are great for those incentive charts. And then we had a pack of washable scented markers because who doesn't like a smelly marker? We have some treat bags and we have cutouts and that rainbow themes with some tassels to go along with it. I like these little hooks here to hang various things up in the classroom. We have some watermelon scissors to go with that watermelon theme. And you're gonna see that a lot. Some birthday signs here, birthday certificates, I guess they're called, and then stamps. I love stamps for activities, but these are also good to put on kids' papers. We have erasers in many different styles. I like the panda. Very, very cute. Pencil sharpeners. These look like recycling bins. We have some thank you note cards, which are always good to have. I do like this punch card here. We can use this for so many different things. Keep track of books read, all kinds of different things for that. And I really thought these were interesting. They are carpet markers. They look like they're little velcro that they might adhere to the floor and stay put. You can also use this for color matching, right? And some more of those cactus cutouts. Birthday bracelets are great to give out for someone's birthday and they can keep it and take it home. And then we also have some ribbon garland, which is pretty fancy stuff. You can also make this really easily on your own, but I did like that they have it all done for you in some various themes. These are wipe away dry erase cutouts. So you can actually write on them over and over again. Some bookmarks in a birthday theme and inspirational theme. And then check out these slap bracelets. <laughs> these are just so much fun. 24 in here for $5 and they are just slap bracelets. We have some really cool pencils. My kids love this kind of stuff. And then check out this pencil sharpener, which is pretty cool too. Only thing I don't like about it is that there's nowhere to catch the shavings. Dry erase boards. This one is super, super nice. They also had a regular bulletin board. Another really, really nice one. The prices aren't too bad on these. We have a package of file folders that are multicolored. Really, really pretty like that. And then we have some more of that signage I was telling you about. Hobby Hobby is known for their signage. Half their store 
are signs and things to hang up around the home. So they definitely didn't disappoint with that. I especially love this one, which is the first day of school. And on the back, it has the last day of school. This is great for home use. If you're gonna take a picture on the first day of school and the last day of school, also great to do with your students. It's chalkboard so you can write on it and erase it. We have a ton of bulletin board letters in a different styles and different colors. So these are great to have on hand to decorate bulletin boards. First day of school activity sheet. I like those. We saw those over at Michael's. If you haven't seen my Michael's video, I will also put that up in the corner for you to go check out. There are a ton more ideas over there. So you definitely have to check out that video after you watch this one if you haven't already and see what they have in store too. So like I said, tons of signage to hang up on bulletin boards and usually they all kind of match a theme. So just if you want to keep be consistent, you can look out for that theme in each style. Really like the rugs that they have. Then so again, matching those themes with the rainbows, but they also have the plain ones too in multiple colors. And these actually look like to be a very good price. They're $70 and I think you can use a coupon on them too if you have a Hobby Lobby coupon. Does Hobby Lobby still even do coupons? I'm not even sure. I think they do. Maybe they don't. You'll have to tell me down below. And I like the rainbow rug too. Love these counting to 120 boards. And of course they have the ABC word wall. You can also put these on the floor and laminate them and use them for home activities. Definitely think that that would be a great use for this. Let's take a look at some of the posters they have. Like I said before, Michael's had a lot of these, but I would have to say there are a lot more sets here at Hobby Lobby than there were at my Michael's. They have them sold single and they also have the packages that come with all of the pieces that go together. This was pretty cool. It's a bulletin board awning. So it's just made out of cardboard or like a really stiff poster board basically and you can make it look like you have a little awning above your bulletin board. I thought that was really cute. There's even this rainbow three-dimensional cutout that stand up so you could put these on top of a bookshelf. And here is just a glance at some of the other charts that I found. bulletin board borders. These are double sided. They're a dollar more than the other ones that are single sided, but that's kind of great because you kind of get two for one in one bulletin board package. I'm really dig in this number line right here. That'd be really good to use even for home use because I know a lot of you guys that watch this channel like to do these activities at home. So that would be a really great way to incorporate some learning by getting a number line or the hundred chart and even hanging on the wall or using it on the floor after laminating it. I also found some really cool dry erase posters. So they are just regular blank posters that have a graphic on them and you can write on them over and over again as if they were a dry erase board. I thought that was pretty neat. And they also had them in smaller cutouts too. Here's some cactus three-dimensional decorations and some various other things. I know this video feels a little bit scattered. That's because how they had it stocked on the shelves. Everything was just kind of out of order. I wish they had put like all of these same decorations and posters in the same theme together. That would have made more sense to me. Dig in this little map over here too. I thought that was pretty cool. They have one in colors. They also had the shapes. Once again, these are great for home use, homeschool use, or classroom use too. And you can't forget the alphabet. So here is a letter one with uppercase and lowercase with the picture that matches the sound it makes. This one is a giant piece of loose leaf paper in poster board form. And then we have some bulletin board pieces for the numbers and alphabets. I actually think this one is probably the best bargain. We have numbers one through 10 with the number symbol, the number word, and the actual quantity to match it up with. If those are too easy, we have multiplication tables for you and then parts of speed. Each. Check out this weather dog bulletin board set for the weather. We have some more shapes and colors on this poster board set. And then we have the solar system, a personal favorite in our house, the Pledge of Allegiance and another bulletin board inspirational set. Organization is pretty big at Hobby Lobby. They have a lot out. I especially love this one right here with all the trays inside, which you can use inside or take them out. Love, love, love these. I store all of my Safari LTD figurines in those. And then they had these little large 12 by 12 ones that are sold for to a set. Love these. I use these for organization like all over the house. As I was leaving, I did find some more of those colored scissors. This one matches that rainbow theme. And then here, is a whole bunch of the signage that I was telling you about to decorate a classroom. They always nail the signs, you guys. They're so fun and cute. If you like this video, I'm gonna put another one on the screen for you to go check out next. Make sure to go check that out. I will see you over there. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.